Yeah, well, I think at the heart of it, it means access to to education. And um, the reason that I've just found it really interesting since I've been involved is that I think it has the hugest potential in countries such as South Africa, where there are such barriers to, to education and to just access to, to resources. And, um, like, I mean, when I've been to the States, I've most of the sort of um, emphasis has been on, on textbook savings at college level and, and that's really great but but for me it's even more fundamental than that because here in South Africa it's not just oh this is a really expensive textbook I'm not going to buy it but I'm still at university I'm still studying I can rent a, a textbook I can get this other textbook but it's like at school level in South Africa, it's actually just these kids don't have anything to start out with, and so open educational resources and open education is a way to actually make a huge impact on their lives and and really and really give them the basic resources that they need in order to to get through school. And just what's been so exciting for me is that. Um, seeing the response from kids and just getting their like their messages on Facebook and we have this one um, email account which we get lots of sort of emails from learners and just seeing some of their their feedback and um, yeah I just think that that's in developing countries that's where open education can make the the hugest impact and has the hugest potential and I really think it's where people should be be focusing their their attention. Yeah. In, in South Africa, we were the only group actually working in, in K-12 and I think it provides a huge opportunity that we actually need to take advantage of because not only do we want learners to see that this is a, a free textbook but actually start to educate people about what open actually means to them. and. Um, and so that, the, so that learners actually start to come to expect that education is not just um, a privilege, but it's actually a basic right, and that they should actually have access to these resources. And I think we should start as early as, as um, in school level, in primary school even. Um, and you can do this subtly by including little bits of information in the content about what is what is this book, why are you getting it for free, it's under an open license, watch this video on open education. Um, or look at these um, tools which are all open source or this, um, this software you can use to study the stars it's under an, an open license, what does this mean? and start to engage learners and teachers in this conversation around the content that they're dealing with and, um, and within their classroom so that it starts to become something which is familiar with, to them so that when these learners get to university say um, they they already know about open open textbooks and um, what an open license means. So you're starting to get this bottom up pressure on on um, professors to start using an open textbook for their course. So they're not just using the same old um, really expensive traditional publishing house textbook that they've always been using. And I think um, yeah, especially K twelve, it just provides such an opportunity to start actually educating people about, about open licenses and um, that's something that we've started to do to in our books and like I said you can you can do it in very very simple ways and um, I think this will start to, to actually help open education have the, the impact that that we're we're all wanting it to have.